Hello everyone, welcome to Special Pillars. My name is Rhoda. If you're coming here for the first time, you're very welcome. Today's video is going to be a little bit long. Please bear with me in advance. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to make, um, you know, cute and simple hairstyles for your kids, hairstyles for your kid, okay, to go to school with, um, especially for kids with natural hair right so as you can see um i gave my daughter um my ipad to watch a kids you know video on youtube this is just to get her to stay still why i detangle her hair okay guys the most tedious and difficult part of braiding my children's hair is the detangling process okay anyone who has afro hair or natural hair you know 4c hair if you have something african in your hair you know that it's quite difficult to work with okay it's very difficult to work with so yeah right now i'm going to just use all these lotions um the living conditioner from cantu i use cantu product and also this africa vitamin e hair food to just try to make the hair as soft as possible so that i can come through as you can see guys in order to make it easier for both myself and her i sectioned the hair into four different parts you know just roughly and just worked through the whole hair section by section and after that i am going to go into the main braiding so the hairstyle that i'm going to be making for my daughter she's my first daughter her name is praise um the style that i'm going to be making it's just very simple okay individual um box braids okay individual braids that's box braids okay with her natural hair all right so i'm not putting any extensions just her natural hair and this is good especially if your daughter's hair is quite long this is something you can do the good thing about this hair is that it's protective and it's simple but it's also um you can also wash the hair without taking off the braids okay you can just wash it if you feel like it's starting to smell you know we are in summer and because of sweat the children they play around and all that you might just wash it and then apply some hairspray okay and then she can keep just having the hair on like that yeah you can see me laughing very loudly here well you cannot hear my laugh anyway but you can see the gesture my sister is just here keeping me company and telling me um some stories about our childhood when we were growing up okay so yeah now uh to make the hair i am going to section all of the hair okay into these little um sections okay into little sections of hair that i'm going to be using for the box braids box braids okay so yeah and i encourage you if you are starting out in braiding it will be good for you and better for you to section all the hair before you start braiding actually okay and make sure that you have a lot of hair clips they are very good for a beginner when you are um braiding so this is the one way okay one way that you can make box braids you just start braiding it right away from the root as if you're braiding single braids there's another way which i'm going to show you with the second strand of hair that i'm going to braid okay where you place your hands you position your fingers as if you are making a corn roll so by doing that you make the root of the hair to bend okay to face you make the hair to face downwards instead of pointing upwards all right so i will show you the two styles this one first where you just put your two your hands your fingers and you simply start braiding 
away okay and the second one where you position your fingers as if you are braiding you are making a cornrow okay so just take notice and after that i will now give you a slow okay tutorial on how to do the braiding with a third strand of hair so please pay attention guys can you see that's my daughter's hair how long it is without any relaxer no chemical processing or anything of that sort just her natural hair okay well if you have afro hair you know that when you braid when you wash it, it usually shrinks so that was the case here now please pay attention it's time to for you to learn okay so here this is the section of the hair you want to braid okay So to braid the hair, you want to divide the section of hair you want to braid into three equal parts. Like this, one, two, three, okay? Now, with your right hand, hold the hair on your right, okay, at the end. Do you see what I'm doing? Like this, use your forefinger on the same right hand to grab the middle one. And then, using your left hand, grab the hair on the left and pass your forefinger underneath the middle hair to grab the hair in your right hand the right hand should release that hair to the left hand okay now with your right hand grab the middle hair that came out on top like this as you can see hold it and then use your forefinger pass it underneath again the new middle one okay and then grab the hair from your left you just need to keep going like that okay passing your forefinger okay with hair on inside your hand and then just grabbing it from the two hands okay this hand will pass the film finger collect the hair in the right hand and the right hand will pass the forefinger under and collect the hair from the left hand just like that you keep going until you securely okay make sure that the root has been secured and then you can let go and just braid it downwards like this i'm doing it slowly so you can see what i'm doing i think the braiding down is not that difficult the most important part is securing the root okay so i don't know how to explain it better than this what i've just done you just know that it's a business of holding hair in your in one hand and holding another strand of hair in the other hand okay and then using your forefinger okay to grab and pass all right do you understand so basically what you're passing is majorly whatever comes out in the middle okay so you collect it pass it underneath to the other one collect pass it underneath in that way so if it were um cornrows that we are making you just keep going like that okay and just collecting more hair as you go on but since we are making single braids box braids like this after securing the roots you just let go and simply use the tip of your fingers okay your thumb and your you know your four fingers as well to just braid it out okay you can also take you know replay this section again to understand what i'm talking about and then you could also just watch what i do with the next one i'm still going to try to go as slowly as possible again for you to know now this time because i am already well somewhat of a professional not so professional i'm not going to be dividing the hair separately again i will simply start braiding okay but it's still the same principle grabbing and letting go all right so i hope you can replay this as much time okay as many times as you can so that you can understand what we are talking about all right okay so i'm just going to keep braiding till i finish braiding all the sections of the hair because i'm going to show you another style again with my second daughter's hair Okay, now I am down to the last um, section of hair. Can you see? It looks really simple. It doesn't have to be so, I don't know, extra. Okay, forget what you're seeing. The white thing you're seeing is just um, the uh, conditioning cream that I put in the hair. Okay, 
um it's still once i finished i just wiped it out okay anyway so that's that the hair is just longer and i keep wishing this were my hair after braiding the hair i just use this brush and some edge control um um gel to brush the edges so these are kids and we want to make the hair colorful so i'm going to put beads what you need is a crochet hook like this one you need beads with large holes in the center hair beads okay and then you need some tiny rubber rings like this okay tiny ones all right so first thing you want to do is to open the hook and put in the number of beads you want to use okay on the hook and then using so like this can you see using the open hook end okay grab the end of the hair and then just pass the bead along okay to onto the hair okay pass it along the stem of the hook up onto the, the mouth and then it goes on the hair you can see what i did okay i don't know how to explain that <laughs> and then when you've done that fold the hair okay over one like this over one of the beads and just use your rubber ring to you know hold it in place sorry i was looking for the word use your rubber ring to hold it in place you need to you know go as many times as possible so that it doesn't slip and when you finish you just pass the second bead down so that it covers the rubber ring and you're good to go okay so i'm going to continue doing this um it's quite easy you can rewatch it like as like i used to say okay play that part again and see what i did all right so this is a closed look okay can you see what i'm doing i'm passing it along the hook onto the hair and that's it then you fold the hair a little bit over one and then use your rubber hang to secure it in place okay just tightly secure it go as round as possible as many rounds okay as you can and when you are done you just push down the other bead so that it covers the rubber ring and you're good to go all right so that's the hair it's really pretty and simple and my daughter is very fine all right so here is the final look okay and it's time to make my second girl's hair this one is what we call ishiowu in nigeria right it's threading okay so what i'm using for this one i'm using um wool or yarn i don't know what you call it i think it's wool either wool or yarn yes i'm using the brown colored ones and like always i've already finished um sectioning this hair and i'm going to go through the same process of detangling okay this one was easier to work and for my second daughter, once you give her anything on YouTube, okay, kids songs on YouTube, she's your friend. So she was just staying still and I was able to braid this hair. As you can see, it's quite easy for me to detangle her hair more than it was for my first daughter's hair. It was just too tangled up. Anyway, after the tangling, I will start sectioning the hair and I will start threading, okay? This one is pretty easy to follow, okay? So it depends on how tiny you want the hair to look. For me... I'm just going to make them in big sections okay not too big but a little bit big on the big side okay so section the hair comb it out and then use a proper okay appropriate amount or number of uh, you know wool threads like this I'm using three for each strand that I make and then you want to hold the hair grab the hair in your right hand or your left hand I don't know if you're left-handed or right-handed okay grab the hair and then this is what you do can you see what i'm doing you just place it hold it like this okay and then you start threading it around the hair you want to make sure that there are no spaces in between so you need to thread them securely close together and you keep going down until you get to the end of the hair where you knot it all right just watch what i'm doing so that i will stop speaking in your hair in your ears i think i've been speaking too much
so when i get to the end of the hair i simply knot it this is where my baby's hair stops okay i did not add any thread to this hair these are natural hair it's just because we washed it that's why it shrank i'm telling you this is how long her hair is yes exactly so when you get to the end you just want to use one of those threads and make a knot okay so that you can get it knotted up so that it doesn't okay unravel so that's what i go as much as you can i think i usually do three times you just use it make a knot around your thumb and make sure that it's tightly secure and when you finish you want to hold the root and bend it so that it's facing you know it's placed downwards and then you go ahead and make the next one you are going to keep doing it like this until you finish so just to watch what i'm doing and when we finish with uh threading the hair i'm going to show you how you can put beads or decorations if you want and then tightly secure everything together Okay, so I'm done threading all the hair, all the sections of hair that I made. Okay, so and now I'm just going to add these beads, okay, little beads to them. Now, when you want to buy hair beads, try to buy the ones that have, okay, those ones that have like larger holes in the middle. Okay, if you buy the ones with really tiny holes, you, you may not be able to go in here. That means you need to have like a really tiny, okay, hair for you to put the beads in. Anyway, so... I put the beads there as far as possible as they could go and then it's time to thread everything together so I'm going to be joining each strand of hair okay each threaded hair to the other starting from the front okay and then I will use okay like two wools or three wools three strands of wool or three strands of yarn sorry so I'm going to use that to tie everything together because we want to pack it and we want it to look organized okay so that's what i'm going to be doing just follow what i'm doing okay I'm, i don't need to talk too much for you to understand yeah
okay please note that while you are tying the hair together you need to be measuring it with the next strand of hair you intend to join okay to the packing that you're doing okay so and try to do it like right underneath where you put the bead so that it will be tight and firm okay and not you know just wobbly all right so can you see how i have packed everything together all the hair the threaded hair i've packed them together okay my children are disturbing they are at my door knocking please pardon me um yeah so i've packed everything together and i'm just going to place it underneath all the way to this root you want to put it in a place that it's not going to be too conspicuous okay and then select one of those strands of leftover hair at the end okay I'm trying to just put everything in place and then just use it to tie the end of that hair to this root, the root of one of these strands like this one that I'm just holding right now, okay, and just tie it as securely as possible as you can, okay, just try your best. So it's not, it, this is a little bit um, awkward to do because you have to be placing your finger underneath, okay, the strands of hair that you've already made. But yeah, you have to do it as secure as possible so that it won't unravel. And for this, my second data, I have to do this because she plays a lot. Otherwise, she's just going to scatter everything. So again, when you finish, um, make sure you knot the hair for as many, many times as possible. Okay? To avoid unraveling. And when you finish, that's it. Okay? Think about it. Doesn't this hair look really cute for is girl of school age okay to have right don't go over the top when you are braiding children's hair things that are as simple and as cute as this is fine enough okay all right So when I'm done tying, okay, when I'm done tying, I just use a, a scissors to just um, nip everything as far as I can, okay, as far as I can, very, you know, very closely to the knot. Just make sure you don't <laughs> cut the knot you just made, okay. Um, you can also use like a, a lighter or candle, okay, to try to um, just make that place, just burn it a little bit and press it so that it can stick uh, for my children fire is a no-no once they see that fire they are going to shout and you cannot touch their hair again so i simply use the scissors to cut it as smoothly as i can and it's done okay guys so this is the finished look um yeah it's simple it's not perfect but it's okay it's very good i think it's very fine i think i tried right so yeah <laughs> look at her face why she <laughs> she's so cute anyway so yeah for my third daughter's hair i made it the next day i just didn't have the strength to film it so that's the style that i made for her and you can see all these hair are just simple and really nice for you to make for your children please try it and let me know what you think 
Thank you and see you in my next video. Bye.